everybody. Welcome back. It's, of course, Cape Rugby TV, where every week we take a look at what's happening in the world of West Bronze. Club Rugby, it's nice to have you along. Uh, yeah, it's been a little bit rainy out there, terrible weather for many people, but nevertheless, Club Rugby managed to continue, of course, one or two cancellations. Uh, folks, big thanks, of course, before we get going to our partners on board with our Score Energy Drinks. Of course, you can win yourself a case of Score during the course of the show. Make sure you stay tuned, so we're going to tell you how to do that. Of course, uh, Decro Paint is on board with us now, and uh, Decro, of course, brings paint to life. And a little bit later during the course of the show, we're going to, again, play you a little Decro DIY video. And then, of course, don't forget MCAM 24-Hour Pharmacy on the corner of N1 and Durban Road. Nice to have them along. Don't forget, a little bit later in the show, we're going to do our world-famous barometer. And that's, of course, brought to you by uh, Infinetics, better solutions, better business. In studio with me, as usual, and welcome back, Jerome Parvata. Jerome, welcome back. Yeah, JP, it's good to be back. And um, you're talking about the weather. In, uh, in rugby, they say the weather leveled the score. <laughs> but I see this weekend there were some big scores also. So some it didn't big scores, level the yeah. scores. Yeah, but a, a couple of cancellations as well. I yeah. mean, uh, field clubs are really struggling out there. Fields are, are taking a hammering. Yeah, and I, I think... In weather like this, it's, it's, it's better for a club. If they know by Thursday, you know the weather, it's better to cancel it because yeah. you're going to sit almost the rest of the year, struggle to get your field ready again. So I think it's better to cancel if you need to cancel. You can play a bit of catch up. How much of an impact does that have for clubs that are planning a specific game plan? Or do you think in club rugby, it's maybe a little bit different? Um, if, you if you're preparing a, a specific game plan for a specific club this weekend and now that game changes and you might have it then only in a month or two's time? Um, look, yeah, it depends. I mean, if it's... It obviously, you all have to look after your fields and, 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 and don't unnecessarily have to damage your field because maybe in a month's time you're going to have to cancel because your field is messed up and yeah. you can't play on it or there's no grass and it's hot and it's tough, so... You never know yeah, what's the right balance to find. And, and, and as you say, it's like, obviously in this weather, uh, if you have a team with a strong pack of forwards and a 9 and a 10 that can kick, you're basically in the pound seats. Do you think that the clubs are paying that much attention to who they're playing on, on the weekend? We know that in Super League A's, the guys are really um, doing their analysis. Are we seeing that uh, across all clubs? Or is it just a question of... The basics, make sure you've got enough players, make sure you've got your, your team ready to go, everyone's wearing the right jerseys. You know, it's strange. I think all the clubs now, and, and the clubs know the history of the clubs for many years and the DNA of the club. Mm. You know if you play against a certain club, uh, you, you if it's a dry day, you're going to have to, they're going to counter and they're going to run and you're going to have to be up with your defence. If it's a wet day, you know if you play if you if you have a strong pack of forwards, you know you basically in the pound seats to win that game. So yeah, but I think that all the clubs know by now. Surely they know what is the DNA of, of each club in this competition. Yeah, right, folks. So we have uh, got a couple of interesting games for you, and a big thanks, of course, again to Fernando Fabius for uh, bringing us some footage out of the Helderberg region. He was out at All Saints this weekend. The weather was quite rough. Uh, but nevertheless, the games continued. And of course, uh, Unimil also up against UWC this week. But it was a, a top of the table clash in a Super League B for All Saints. So we'll start off there. Let's take a look now at their game on Saturday.
Right, there we go, folks. Um, All Saints uh, up against CPUT in Super League B, and you can see what exactly it is that we were talking about in terms of the conditions. Uh, Jerome, uh, All Saints have really managed to put themselves into a new gear almost this season. They're playing excellent rugby. Yeah, look, All Saints uh, is always a team to be reckoned with, and they, they're a good team. Uh, mm -hmm. I think they're, well, they're also well coached. And um, I uh, saw they got a penalty, so I presume they were leading the first half. Yeah. And um, in these conditions, um, they were playing in the right side. They were playing, they were more in CPUT's 22 the whole time. CPUT struggled to get out of their 22. Um, so, yeah, they were obviously dominating the first half. Um, but knowing CPUT, they're always a team and they never give up. So. The Hopefully they'll bounce back. Well, we're going to have a look now in the second half, but <coughs> one of the things that they do have up against them is the fan factor in this one. The fans at All Saints really uh, uh, come out in their droves. Yeah, and I mean, look, it was raining there, and there's still a lot of people around the field. You can see all the supporters there. Uh, but um, like we were saying, is I think their field is going to be <laughs> it's messed up. It's going to be it's going to yeah. take a while for their field to recover. Well, it was a big game, folks. Uh, the other game that was, of course, a big uh, clash in Super League B was the match between SK Warmers and Collegians, which was probably the talk of the town this weekend. Uh, and that, of course, also had an impact uh, on the log positions in Super League B. But uh, we are going to take a look at the second half between All Saints and CPUT after the break, so don't go away. We'll be back in a sec.